Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. Uh, we have a really great puzzle in store for you, but first I'd like to welcome back my uh, partner in crime, Sam Azerski. How you doing, Sam? Guilty as charged, good to be back, Deb. We've got a fun Thursday offering today by Caitlin Reed, tell, tell me all about her. Yeah. Oh, well, Caitlin is a <laughs> real up and comer. I like her puzzles. Um, this is her sixth puzzle for the New York Times. I'm fairly sure she's been published elsewhere, but, you know, with yeah. my frame of mind right now, I couldn't tell you where. Uh, sorry about that, Caitlin. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoyed this one. Um, it's a tricky Thursday. We're going to need I, I, all I, hands I on deck. I think with a little bit of help, we're we're up for this. What do you think? I'm hopeful. I mean, I it's definitely it can't just be the two of us. We're gonna need to count on every commenter we can get. So put your guesses in the comments. Click on that Twitter video and join us. Come on, come That's on. Right. Any one guess thing, is a good guess. Yes, and and this is one thing that confuses some people. In order to join the conversation, uh, if you're coming to us from Twitter. Uh, please click on the grid uh, that will take you to Periscope and you can uh, join the conversation there. If you can uh, add comments on Twitter, uh, I'm hoping we see them. They're supposed to come through, yeah. uh, but you're better off uh, commenting through Periscope. So just click on that grid and uh, come join us. Um, this is the kind of puzzle that is, uh, you definitely have some ways in here, I think. What, what was your gimme, Sam? I mean, again, we always talk about this, whether it's a Monday puzzle, soul crushing Saturday, or a tricky Thursday, there's always going to be some sort of fill in the blanks, something you know. For yeah. instance, 20 across, blank Jong. You know this, whether know it's, no matter what day of the week, right? Even if you don't play it. Yeah, You've heard of I don't. <laughs> right. No, I don't play it either. But uh, I know people who do, and I've heard about it my whole life. So uh, that's that's a good one. See that? And that's we've unlocked the key to the grid. We're in. And here's another one. That's a good, you know, example of the fill in the blank clues that can help any solver out there. Sometimes you're just confident of a name. Yeah. Like Efron of Hollywood. Uh, I know for sure that this is Zach Efron. Z A. <laughs> And I actually, in, in a previous puzzle of mine, I clued Zach Efron as a one-time teenage heartthrob and got a lot yeah. of flack from it on the internet for using right. the word one time. He's still, right. he's still a teen heartthrob, well, am I right? So. Well, he, he was a one-time teenager, but I think yeah. what they were trying to say is he's still a heartthrob. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Um, Kathy O is here with us and she said, I really want 62 across to be Oreos, but it's probably not. What is the clue for 62 across, Sam? A bunker need? Oh, yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're going to hole up, you need your Oreos, right? Yeah. Absolutely. A huge stockpile of them, because if you're in a bunker, you're probably eating them a sleeve at a time. And, you know, there's no fooling around. Yeah. Birdie Lover says 19 across is Irma. That's another I gimme. Like this. Oh. At least for me, it is. Bombeck, who wrote, I lost everything in the postnatal depression. Yes. <laughs> that is Irma Bombeck. Sometimes yes. you can just see the word Bombeck and you Blessed know that it's be her be name. Irma. Right. Blessed be her name. She yes. is uh, a queen, uh, the queen, a queen of uh, newspaper humorists. So uh, let's see. We. Uh, I like 29 down, should blank shouldn't. That's uh, a good way to rationalize the uh, <laughs> entry or I. Yeah. Should I, uh, should I, or shouldn't I? It's I-O-R, that's-, that's Oh God, I'm sorry. How else are you gonna clue it, right? <laughs> I yeah. guess you can do <laughs> suffix with super for superior. But right, exactly. It could be a uh, super follower. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, is that a thing now, like on Twitter or on Instagram, if you're a super, if you follow a lot of people, we should make that a thing. These are our solvers today. The ones that are with us every Thursday here, you oh, all absolutely. are our super followers. So we come appreciate help them. Solve. Them. <laughs> uh, Deb, come here's in. a clue. Or, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, given the fact that I'm highly motivated by food, a uh, common seafood garnish, I'll bet, is some sort of, is like a lemon. You would squeeze lemon on seafood. So... The problem is, I mean, lemon, whoop, I cannot type today. You get to make fun yeah. of me now. But lemon's only five letters and we need huh. six. So 
We'll have to come back to that. We'll, we'll, we'll have to come back to that. Here's here's what I wanted to show you, Deb. I know you love and you've talked about in your guide to solving the New York Times crossword, your twin clues. These are just oh. fun little quirks of crosswords. Yeah, they are yeah. dupes. If I'm pretty sure clue, that's cool. something Will started. I, that's a good question. I know it's something that Will all, you know, keep a keen eye out for. If there are just right. two answers that can be clued the same way, that's just a fun little bit of elegance in the crossword, we think. Well, you had sort of a, an off-topic request here, uh, Sam. Uh, someone named Billy says, I'm also in need of a haircut. <laughs> also sound... in need of a haircut. Great. Yes. I, oh, I guess... I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize. I thought he was asking you to give him a haircut. <laughs> oh, no, call, calling me out. No, it's, it, I, yeah. we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. I, I, like, I am told. I like you with the longer hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to work up the nerve to cut my own hair, but curly hair is like really, really scary to cut on your own. Sure. Um, I'm just then... being lazy. I'm drawing this out for as long as I possibly can, but I've it's always had a face for radio, I figure. So no, no. go big or go home with crossers. No, no, you look um, terrific. I'm waiting for for the fro to just like take up the whole screen, you know? <laughs> like it did in middle school. There we go. There Where you go. go. Uh, Birdie <laughs> Lover says 48 across is sur la tête. Oh, place for un. Now this is interesting. Un yep. beret. Oh, and, you did that so well. I, I, I try. <laughs> I, I really do. Um, but notice how we're not just saying a beret. Yes. There's an accent over the E, and we use un, so we're signaling that you must say the answer in French as well. Exactly. That's one of our matching clues. The yeah. clue, the answer has to match the clue in some ways. And in this case, if you have a far, if you have a another language in the clue, that means that the answer has to be in that language. And in this case, it's French. <clears throat> so. Um, <laughs> I was going to go back to 41 across the, the twin clues. We could knock these oh, out, right? 20 questions categories. There's Let's three see. of them, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I think the um, 40, is it 45 across? Yes. Um, 45 across has six letters. So I'm thinking maybe that one is animal like animal, vegetable, or mineral, because that's the only one that I can think of that's So we've got animal, so we're down to vegetable and mineral for the other one. Yep. Which one fits here? Uh, <laughs> that's got to be mineral. Unless, you know, there's some crazy sort of rebus in this puzzle, but I mean. It, it, yeah, absolutely. I'm Marilyn Johnson wants to know, how did Thursday happen so soon? And that's a really good question, Marilyn, because at times it feels like time is whooshing by, and then at times it feels like it's, this has been the longest, this, this week has been the longest year of my life. Uh, Nicole Xavier is also with us. and uh, Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. She says 46 down is man up. Put your big boy pants on, sure. Okay. Although I will tell you that that is also the name of a song from Book of Mormon. Should, oh. we, should we care to uh, not make it a gendered clue? Sure. So um, we'll, we'll talk that away for the future. That's Yes. And that's Birdie Lover, we do have Tet in the grid. There may be a little bit of lag because okay. of uh, the, the amount of people who are on. Uh, you know, chat clients right now, but we did see, we did see your contribution and thank you for that. Yes. Nicole, Nicole Xavier also says 56 down is Aura, O-R-A. Oh, Rita Aura. I don't yeah. know if we've clued Aura this way yet, actually, or only very recently. So it's nice to see her in the puzzle. It is. It really is. Marilyn Johnson says, I can't tell one day from another. <laughs> I, I feel that. Um, the, the crossword helps I with that. The crossword helps with that, and uh, the sweatpants that I happen to be wearing that day help me tell one day from another. Like, <laughs> these are my Thursday sweatpants. Sure. Um, so what else have we got, Sam? One I thing. The LE, uh, the LE leads me yeah. to believe that lemon is in there somewhere. Is there some sort of, like, citrus hybrid, like a, a, a lemon lime? I don't know. Maybe it's a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Billy says, you have to man up. I sang it out, Deb. Great musical. It is. It was probably one of my favorite shows that I've seen on Broadway, Billy. Um, <laughs> Nancy Burke Osborne is with us and says, 38 across is A.A. A. Milne. 
Oh, when we were very young, author, yeah. 1924, would also have accepted Now We Are Six. Right. Or, or Winnie the Pooh. But of course, I'm just thinking, right. I'm just going for the Thursday angle. Bruce Giordano is back. Hey, Bruce. He says 57 across is Sulu. Wh which one? 57? 57 oh, it ends in you. I like that. Roll for John Cho. Yes. Yeah. For and that's, that's one once. I would actually go for after uh, next, after writing in Man Up, because there are very few words or names that end in a U. So the odds of my getting it pretty quickly are good. Exactly. I mean, honestly, with that in mind, Deb, I would like us to go at least just take a crack at 37 down. Oh. I mean, seven letters starts in a Z and has a U in it as well. There's only so much that can fit there without even reading the clue. Zzz out. Oh, I like that better, actually. Daydream. <laughs> it's just zzz. What I tend to do in meetings. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just not this one. No. Um, <laughs> let's see. How about Thomas Yabroff is saying zone, Z no, zonk or zone. Ooh, <laughs> those are both interesting, true, actually. I kind of like that it could be zone out or zonk out, both yeah. fit, right? But zonk, I feel like, is more just whoops, is just to fall right asleep to crash. But zone right. out is really to space out. So, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Sprague says 43 down could be atoned made good yes i like that yeah made good on something uh liz plowman is here hey liz how you doing Hi, uh liz. gregory pike agrees on zone out marilyn johnson and liz plowman agree on zone out uh this is great i think we're gonna crack the southwest before we we do Ooh, it well let's let's keep dancing around there then what's 35 Hi. down oh 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 go ahead sam, sam. Logo. What's you that? know this one I do. Tell us. This is going to be a capital O. Oh, wow. Watch too much college sports. There you um, go. There we go. And shout out to uh, number one uh, WNBA draft pick, Sabrina, Sabrina Ionescu, who went to the Very New York good. Liberty. Uh, Very University nice. of Oregon. Go Ducks. Uh, let's see. We can. Well, we can. What about that bottom corner there? We've got that last across there at blank T.O.P. Type of short haircut. All right, now I feel attacked. Yeah. Um, this is really weird. It's, it wouldn't I, be I always thought a tee top was a you know a roof covering, but not a right. hair covering per se. No, we'll have to come back to that. Okay. Um, right. Bruce Giordano says fifty three across his loan. Student blank. Yep. All right, I feel attacked here too. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, for, oh, free to attack. Uh, blank E T A blank. Mm -hmm. I think Andrew Sprague is catching on, but we're going to stretch this out a little longer, Andrew. So please wait for us. Liz is saying that 44 down could be lemons, and that's a really good guess. But here's the thing can you click on the uh clue for for we're here? Mm -hmm. I'll just put it in. I mean, the thing is, it's garnish, it's it's. It's common seafood garnish, which is singular, which means yeah. the answer should be singular. Like, I guess you could justify lemons as a collective single garnish, but we at least wouldn't want to trick you that way. So it is not right. lemons plural, but we're, I mean, oh, here, yeah. how about, let's put lemon in here. Maybe this will help us see something like 55 across or 59 across. Let's yeah, just make the check. Don't make me laugh. What that? <laughs> oh no, that wasn't that wasn't directed toward you, Sam. <laughs> oh, I know. No, is that, that I was going to point out how ironic that is because this answer in a puzzle always makes me laugh. I okay. really, really like this. It's inspired. It's God no. Right. Absolutely. Which, you couldn't be more wrong. Which honestly makes me think not of don't make me laugh, but of the Steve Carell video from The Office where he's saying, no God no. <laughs> Um, okay, so now we have 42 down. R -E ripen, maybe. Ah, well, if you're ripening. Hmm. Like a tomato. Oh, would that be redden? That would be redden. And interesting that it crosses. Kathy, What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just uh, responding to Liz, who says, darn, it's okay, Liz. That's the thing. Once you understand the rules of the clues, it's much easier to solve. So the reason Sam and I knew it is because, you know, A, Sam helped edit the puzzle, and 
Two, we've been doing this for a long time. We know the rules. We know about plurals. We know about foreign languages. And you can learn them too if you uh, work your way through the uh, How to Solve the New York Times Crossword Guide on Wordplay. Uh, Kathy O oh happens to be catching on. She's guessing mm. a couple of different kinds of lemon. She says lemon slice, <laughs> lemon wedge. Interesting. Uh, Lemon lemonade. Rich Gorelick. Hey, Rich. He says uh, he loved this one. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Bruce Giordano agrees on Redden. Zuz agrees on Redden. Uh, <laughs> well, Liz is redeeming herself by saying, well, 52 across is Dom. We That's have the one. Bank. We got that. Birdie Lover says 58 across is Woes. What, uh, troubles. Five, eight. Woes. I yeah. like that. Let's go with it. Maybe we should use a crosser to check this W. Maybe. Time, e.g., in brief. Huh. W blank. In brief is kind of throwing me. Yeah. Um, how about um, 59 across? Liz is saying uh, it. the answer is green. The easiest rating for a ski slope is green. So we got that. And now we can that, check our crosser, I, right? I have to tell you that that one tripped me up. I <laughs> honestly thought, and I, again, I'm not a skier. I've been skiing once, and that was more than enough for me. Um, I thought the answer was going to be bunny. Like bunny. <laughs> um, maybe Thank goodness for crossers. Way easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, green is crossing redden, notes Andrew Sprague. Yes. Uh, Nancy Burke Osborne says 51 down is eggs. It is eggs. I like that clue. Yeah, me the too. Eggers. It's very evocative. Exactly. Uh, everybody, Bruce Giordano, Gregory Pike, Marilyn Johnson uh, agree on eggs. Bill Love is here, and he has cracked the southeast corner. Yeah, he what says, what is fit sixty two across sand um, blank? Okay, now you. here's the thing: a bunker might not necessarily be a place to hide underground. Hmm. A bunker could be a golf trap. Oh, my. So what and, do you need if you're in a golf trap? Well, you know, I think, you know, you, you need you need prayer and thoughts and prayers, but a uh, mulligan, get out of there. Perhaps. But, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a sand wedge. Oh, it also, you know, now that you mentioned that, well, yeah. it wouldn't hurt to have a sand wedge. The problem is we can't, it's, we only have one letter to work with here. Well, you know what that calls for, don't you? What is, what, do, do tell. I, I'm, I'm in the dark I think here. it calls for the rebus button. Our the old rebus friend. button. The rebus yeah. button, which I've unwittingly actually cropped out in my current mode. So you'll, you'll have uh -huh. to humor me here. However, I'm more than happy to explain that on your web browsers, <laughs> you might see a button up here that's the handy dandy rebus button. This is what right. we use for its true sorcery. If you are to write, because of these crazy constructors, more than one letter in a single square. And that instance, is perfectly fair and legal. Exactly. Sand right. wedge crosses lemon wedge is the seafood garnish. Are, so, you, are you, You're not able to get access the rebus button there? Well, I can enter the rebus just fine. I'm just explaining for the solvers oh, here that are right. with us. The way and you would use the rebus, or you can take it away by all means. No, no, I'm sorry. Yes, you would use the rebus, uh, and that is also available because people people do ask us this question quite a lot, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, I've answered it. If I have a an FAQ on wordplay uh, called, you know, frequently asked questions about <laughs> wordplay, and. Um, the uh, we we also talk about how to enter things on your devices because people like to solve on their phones, they like to solve on their tablets. Um, Liz Plowman says, Oh, I missed the whole wedge thing, so wedge it is. Um, <laughs> you know? Marilyn Johnson has got the southwest, but we're gonna we're just gonna stop briefly here. Uh, Liz says she doesn't have that rebus button. Liz, tell us how you are solving. Are you on your laptop, a tablet, or um. Or a f or your phone. If you tell me you're solving in print, I have a really good answer for you. <laughs> so this is so this is yeah. what we're gonna do in the meantime. So if yeah. you're in it to walk you you solvers through, if you're in a web browser, you'd click the Rebus key. Or what you can do is if you're on a Mac, you can hit the Escape button, which I've just done. Ah. Just popped out. Or if you're on a PC, you can press the I believe it's the Insert button. Right. And now you have this window where you can type in wedge, 
you hit the enter key and boom. Boom, look at how beautiful is that? Beautiful, and if you're on a mobile device, there should be a button in your keyboard. Perhaps it's in the overflow part of the keyboard where the numbers are for a right. read this button, right? Okay. Um, Liz, you may not see it in Periscope because uh, if you are in <laughs> Periscope, you're seeing our view of the puzzle. But if you are on the web and you're looking at the puzzle on the New York Times website, on the upper right hand corner, you'll see a buoy, like a, one of those round sailing buoys. You'll see a pencil and you'll see a rebus, key, a key that says rebus. Click on that and you are able to, as Sam said, open up a square. Uh, Liz says, I know how to do this on paper. Thank God. Um, uh, Birdie Love, you can you can uh, enter more than one uh, letter by using the Rebus button. On your phones, I think you hit more. There's a key, key that says more, and under that will be a Rebus That's the one. Key. Uh, on Android, you have an ellipsis, dot, dot, dot. If you hit that one, under that is a rebus key. So the answer is yes, you can do this uh, on your phone and on your uh, tablet. You just have to find the rebus key. Exactly. Uh, Birdie Lover says that they're using an iPad. It should be the same, Birdie Lover. You should see the rebus key up at the um, upper right of the puzzle. Not the one that you're looking at with Sam and I on it but uh, the one when you're actually on, on the New York Times website. Because right now, like I said, you're seeing our version of the puzzle through a different channel. Uh, uh, Marilyn Johnson says 49 across is let at. It is let at, free to attack. So free is actually a verb here. Yeah. You let at, sick them, attack, attack. Right. Uh, Marilyn Johnson uh, agree, agrees and also has solved the southwest corner saying that the haircut is a flat top. Oh, gosh. So what is that? Cro Doesn't land as a joke. Is it falls. Is this is one I know more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was, in fact, that's where I, I tumbled to the theme. Ah, I said, that's got to be false, flat. And, but I don't have enough squares, so it's got to be a rebus. So once again, I'm just doing this on my Mac here. I'm going to hit the escape key. That little window pops up. You mm -hmm. type in flat, you hit enter, and boom. We've got oh. falls flat crossing flat top, sand right. wedge crossing lemon wedge. And yes, this is legal in certain tricky Thursday yeah. New York Times crossword puzzles. Welcome. And it's highly encouraged. Birdie Lover says, need to go to the website next time. Yes, not <laughs> while you're solving with us. Please come and solve with us on Thursdays. But if you are doing the puzzle on your own and you're doing it via the New York Times solving page, uh, you will see the rebus and you, and you can use it there. Uh, Gregory Pike uh, agrees on flat. Uh, Birdie Lover agrees that uh, the cross crosser is false. Falls, floss, fat. Falls, uh, flat. There's falls fat flat is uh, 40 down. It's chewed by the chatty is fat. Uh, there we go. That's gotta be funny. the fat. Um, and Zuz says 30 down is Eskimo kiss. And Nancy Burke Osborne Aww. agrees with that. Affectionate nose rubbing. That's a fresh yeah. Uh, Birdie Lovers is only on Thursday. Uh, yes, right now we're we're only on Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, but you'll find us here on Twitter, and we also stream through YouTube. Um, our our YouTube channel is called Wordplay NYT. So uh, Bruce Giordano says uh, 40 across is fur, F-I-R. Christmas season purchase is a fur. Fortunately, go. we have that first letter. Right. I'm gonna mouse over to 35 across in the oh. dead center of the puzzle. This is yeah. this is important. We there's always a reason, you know, especially for a crazy little rebus gimmick like this. There's you always a reason. The constructor's not doing this just to, you know, mess with you, right? Right. It's all inspiration for the puzzle. <laughs> so here we've got goal scoring opportunities in soccer or a hint to this puzzles theme whatever mm. could that mean i don't know i don't play soccer <laughs> you don't have but see that's the beauty of this is you don't have to play soccer 
to solve the New York Times crossword. No, you I don't. also I, I, I what saw do I do if I don't know? I for, for good what do I do if I don't know anything about soccer, Sam? We use these crossers. That's what's so helpful about you know this yeah, all over yeah. interlock. Let's do it. All right. How about um, you know, Andrew Sprague is saying, I think 58 across is a do's, not woes. Troubles. You know what? It could be a do's. Actually, yeah. let's go ahead and get rid of woes. A perfectly cromulent guess in that slot. I would have thrown that in myself. There you go. But I'm going to, maybe it's worth checking a few crossers. I mean, how about 50 across? Let's do this. Go ahead. Shoot. Blank, blank, K, blank. Make my day. <laughs> no, we don't have enough letters for that. <laughs> don't worry. It's uh, it's 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 more uh, it's 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 nicer than that. It's ask me. Go ahead, shoot. What, what you oh, got? that kind of shoot. Like, yes. go ahead, ask me a question. Got it now. See, and here, here I thought there would be bloodshed in the New York Times crossword. There will be blood. Yes. Um. <laughs> um okay. A lot of people are starting to get catch on to the uh, revealer. Oh yeah. Yeah, should we should we put it in? Go for it, by all, all means. Right. I, I can't see the comments. You can. That's Take okay. It away. Ziz Andrew Sprague and Birdie Lover all say that the central revealer is um, corner kicks. Corner. We think it could be a, a goal scoring opportunity in soccer. What's that? I see. Could see that being a goal scoring opportunity yep. in soccer. But what does that have to do with the theme? So corner kicks, hints to this puzzle's theme. So what do we know so far? We know there's a rebus for the word flat right mm -hmm. here. We know there's a rebus for the word wedge. Right oh, and they're in the corner. So Yeah. And, and so are, are we kicking the flats and the wedges? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps, may, maybe. Ooh. I mean, you, I'm, I'm not quite well, because, there. I mean, you have, you have the golf wedge and a the the golf course is flat for the most part. Maybe it's a golf theme. <laughs> we we just ran a golf theme. Come on now. Yeah, sure. All right. You know what? Let's move ahead. Liz Plowman is guessing that thirty three down might be arm because Best they're all in the puzzle. arms. Best clue in the puzzle. Loved it. Down. Knock off of a Greek sculpture. That is beautifully written. The um. You know, a knockoff could be a copy of something, a cheap copy of something, a knockoff of a Greek sculpture. But in this case, it's something that's literally been knocked off of the Greeks, physically knocked off of the Greek sculpture, and that is arm. So very good. Good for you, Liz. Well Thank done. You. Kathy, uh, Kathy is uh, noting with emojis our, our cromulent fist bump. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, and Liz is just realizing every corner is different. They are. You're right. Wait till we get to the last two. So what's <laughs> a, what's what's twenty two down here? Target for Clippers. I mean, we've uh, got something nail. Fingernail doesn't fit. No. Toenail doesn't fit. Nope. What about hangnail? Ooh, painful. Yeah. I guess you would it. have to clip those. Yeah. Can <laughs> we um? So maybe that G right here you know we're thinking about how we can expand territory in any yeah. puzzle in the week that g might be just enough to give us 32 across oh, oh. baloney huh i'll wait for a few solvers to chime in i know there's a bit the of a penny, the will drop eventually david flowers has got the theme but we're gonna we're gonna spread this out just a little bit longer david for so sure. be patient with us uh bruce giordano says 34 across is sly Artful is sly, and that gives us, yeah. here's another shoot clue, something to shoot for is skeet. Exactly. Which is, there. Which is a, another fun wordplay clue, because something yes. to shoot for could be aspirational, mm -hmm. or it could literally be something to shoot for up in the sky, like a skeet target. Um, let's see. Uh, Nancy Burke Osborne says 28 across is sardine. I'm sorry, you guys are like Ooh. really... Killing this. Oh, that's a train. good one. Rush hour subway commuter, in metaphorically, is a Been sardine. There, done that. Yes. Exactly. Lots of nails this week, Andrew says. Yeah. Kathy Odehan is saying, mmm, baloney. <laughs> <laughs> mm, sardines. Um, uh. Richard Leduc, Birdie Lover, Logan Pyle, Nancy Burke Osborne, and Kelly Rauschenbach are all saying hogwash to us. Oh, as hogwash. Is oh, Judy Patel at 32 across. That's the one. 
Right. Gives us, it looks like ad hoc. Stop I think so. And Liz, Liz Plowman came up with that one too. Well done. Well done. Well That's done. Right. You guys are killing this. This is great. Really All fun. right. We're almost there. We're, I All this fun it. fill too, by the way. Ad it, hoc, we, hogwash, sardine, A. Mill, Eskimo kiss. Quarter so kiss. now, fun. yeah. Great puzzle. Hangnail. What do we have for six down? Let's at least take a peek. Athleisure. Easy. Okay. It's something where. I get. Yeah, we, I guess we got the hard part. It's um. I mean, it's stretchy. Right now, it's athletic, everyday wear, wear but yeah. you know. <laughs> work from home wear. Uh, um, huh? How about maybe twenty six across one of the shorter ones? Michigan, e.g., abbreviation. Okay. Well, that's looking for a category that Michigan f- fits into, but it may not be the state of Michigan. It could Ooh, be yeah, another this one's kind tough. of Michigan. Yeah. Could it be Michigan so, Avenue in Chicago? I was going to say, and it also, I think it takes me back to my Monopoly days. Now, this <laughs> is interesting. Um, some people are saying that two down is la la la, which I love. But they're not listening to us. La 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 la, la, la I la, can't la, hear la. you. Uh, so Zella Emmanuel says, wahoo, okay. Hello from Malawi. Greetings, Sozella. Welcome Ooh. to uh, Crosswords Live. Uh, Nicole Xavier is uh, offering a loungewear. Oh, I, I, I think we're, I think we have that V there now. I would have really liked that otherwise, though. We, we yeah, that, that, but great. I guess that would have led us astray. Those are that's exactly. a great guess. Yep. Marilyn Johnson agrees on uh, Avenue and um, Andrew Sprague and Artie Artie say that six down is active. Active wear. Active wear. That's the one. Another great answer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Judy Patel says 27 across is Nessie. Mysterious monster, familiarly. Nice. I always love those. You know, you're more than halfway through the grid and you stumble upon a clue that you haven't even seen yet and you just know it instantly. It jump starts you through the rest of the puzzle. Absolutely. Bruce Giordano and Liz Plowman both say that 24 across is plea, P L E A. Something heard in court is a plea. There we go. Yeah, there you go. And that's a, that's a nice crisp clue. I like that. Exactly. A Saturday clue could be blank deal. <laughs> right. Oh. You know, I, I will tell you that I got the most confused in this puzzle in the Northwest. Yeah. Would you like to crazy. hear the story of how I got confused, Sam? I did read your wordplay column, but I'm more than helpful. Okay. I'm, I'm happy for the sake of the solvers. Um, well, it's so much read the bigger than Sarah, yes, Sam. The it story. really is. Okay. Um, well, before we get into that, Andrew Sprague says uh, 27 down is nihilism. Nice. Is that and philosophy in ancient Egypt? Right. Uh, Liz Plowman is talking uh, 30 across is EIC. EIC. So the oh. figure on your IRS, I, maybe? I actually don't know that. I know that this is, it's actually in the puzzle, it's EIN for your, right. employee, if your employee identification ID number. number. Is EIC um, a thing? Maybe I'm, could be. No. Three down from Bruce Giordano is either. Whichever is either. I, yeah, whichever. Whichever you prefer. Now, let's talk a little bit about this corner, Sam. Oh boy, here we go. Highlight one across for me, please. Pirates. Pirates say, I had caught on to the fact that this was a rebus already, as I said, in the Southwest. And since the clue was pirates, I took it to mean, without thinking this through very much, that the answer might be peg legs. <laughs> Is it not NLers? You know, like national Well, it figures? could be NLers as well. You see, it could be a lot of things. Who says there's only one answer to crossword puzzle <laughs> entries? Um, the... Uh, the Liz Plowman is saying it could be an earned income credit. It probably is. Uh, that's that's the one. So it could, yeah. it could, it's not that in this puzzle, but honestly, it's a that's a good guess. Like that's, yeah, it really hey, is. I learned something. Okay, so we knew it's not peg legs because there's no peg going down that could be uh, that could be possible in one down. Peg 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 lamps. Rigor peg, peg lamps. Camps? That, that's me after a, a hard workout. Is peg. peg- ramps but it dumps it's not peg you want to know why it's not peg sam why is it not peg because pirate 
going back to one across, is not a noun. In this puzzle, it's a verb. Oh. And it's pirates say as in bootlegs. Makes oh, no. You're going to throw the rebus button at me again? I'm throwing the rebus button, babe. And it's bootlegs because I made the foolish mistake, even after all this time, of assuming, and we never assume on wordplay, do we? Never assume in cross um, that the uh that a word is what it appears especially on <laughs> thursday so we've got bootlegs and that would give us boot camps going down and we got another boot so wait oh hold on hold on so we've got a wedge uh-huh flat a boot and the reveal <gasps> corner kicks i got it sam I, I got this. I mean, and everybody, well, the, nobody's going to say the solvers there. beat us for sure. Kicks. Kicks is another word for shoes. So you've got so your wedges, your shoes, flats, your kicks. boots. Oh my gosh. Which Caitlin, means this is going to be something too. Yes. And, Cor and Caitlin uh, reimagined the phrase corner kicks, a soccer phrase, as shoes that are literally in the corner and i think that's very clever super clever uh, caitlin yeah. i mean really is just one of the biggest up and comers out there out of all the constructors whose work we're getting really she's so. put out some great themelesses great ideas like this thursday form sunday form we're really excited to run more from her for sure yeah and uh judy patel and liz plowman both say 14 across is cairo city of a th yes Fortunately, you know, if you don't even know, if, if you've yeah. never heard this slogan before, we'll say C-A-I blank blank, you know, it's how, many other, how many other places could it be? Exactly. Right. Uh, so let's move down to 17 across, which Birdie Lover says is alter. Alter. That gives us G-R-E, hurdle for an M-A pursuer, and then breed. Interesting. Ah. What do we take... The S O R blank. Sometimes you just got to really stretch your brain. Think, what could breed mean? Is it, it could a mean noun? Is it a sort verb? Of thing. It's, it is. Okay. So a certain breed, a certain sort. sort. Exactly. And David Flowers is saying, boom, called it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wonderful. You, wonderful, David. wonderful. Uh, Judy, Judy Patel is challenging him now by saying that six across is as if. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no way, as if. Not that I'm trying to start trouble here. Uh, Liz Plowman agrees with Alter. Uh, Birdie Lover says four down is GRD. I'm sorry, GRE, which is correct. We got GRE. Yep, nice Marilyn work. Johnson is cat, is saying, so agrees on sort. Bruce Giordano and Judy Patel both say that 21 across is thins. Whittles down is thins, yes. Right. Pairing down oh, or something. I had pairs, P A R E S, there at mm -hmm. first before I had any of the surrounding fill, but I soon discovered that was not correct. Thank goodness for crossers. Thank God for crossers, man. Andrew Sprague and Liz Plowman both say that nine down is foe, F O E. Challenger is a foe. Nice work. Exactly. You can also get 15 across the sound from a toy train. Oh. But that's a kind of bad. If it's only making one chew, it sounds sort of like it's losing steam. It's low, but it's yeah, literally <laughs> low battery. Right. Um, so let's finish off this point for love this item. one. Loved this one. I just like the alliterative clues, no matter if they're clever or not. Well, they just always yeah, make me smile. It, you know, th this is a good clue on on several levels to me because not only is it alliterative, but it's also great wordplay. A point for Poseidon sounds like he's playing a game and scored a point. Ten points for Gryffindor, yes. Exactly, point ten points for Poseidon. Except that he's known for carrying a um, trident, and so Tyne would be one of those points. The one and it gives right. us shine. I like just shine crossing Tyne. There you go. Cannon ammo in sci-fi is a nice fresh clue for ions too. Pretty crazy. How else are you going to? Very that? nice. Yep. And then here's one to chew on. You know, we might need a few more letters, but I want to go to 11 down. Makers. Okay. I've got three app updates available. Great. <laughs> um, it's your computer, Sam. <laughs> what makes us, it's not snakes because that doesn't fit. Alas. But. Huh. Something to think about. We'll see. We'll see the solvers that can grok this one. Right. 
they're, the they're right now they're they're agreeing on time uh and chew uh, uh do we have 23 across yet uh no it's just well, judy patel says it's knock Ooh, i like that right to knock no on some letters that would give us oh gosh 23 down burns up in film with a question mark don't love take it that. at face value love it's just that. Ken. It's, Ken it burns. Is. it's not it, 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 it's not something that goes up in flames because it's got that question mark so we're looking for someone named burns who is in film and with a three-letter entry it's got to be ken gotta be ken it's gotta be ken now billy here who is in need of a haircut has guessed what the northeast corner is. Oh goodness, do tell. Well, what do we have first? What are the clues? Yeah, we let's a okay. Well, site. Birdie Lover agrees on Ken. Andrew Sprague is and uh, R. Scott Acton and Artie Artie is. Um, I have guessed aerosols. Aerosols is the one. Those are the yeah. snakes we're looking for. Snakers, right? Yeah. It's not snakes. One way to clue uh, it, you know. Yeah. Um, Bruce Giordano says 12 down is Sim City. Sim City, that's the one. And exactly. then 13 down, also crossing that corner is Deceptive Basketball Moves. I had to learn this one. Now, Now Billy uh, had said the 10 across is Gas Pump. Okay, so hold on. That's Gas. And then there's one last Rebus here. So again, I'm on my Max. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can click a Rebus button that's in your web browser. I just don't have it up with me here. But I'm going to hit the escape button, which is the site right. purpose, and type in pump. And then that's going to give us deceptive basketball moves are pump fakes. Yes. Exactly. Now, uh, Melissa D. Hellman brings up a good uh, point. It uh, we They missed an opportunity to clue Chu as Jimmy Chu, the shoe designer, but we have in the past, haven't we? We have. I mean, there. That's actually a really good point, Melissa. Right? Uh, is that there are some answers? Choose an interesting one to point out because there are only like a, you know a couple, a handful of ways to clue it. Mm -hmm. But we just on the editorial side. Usually, you know, we try and preserve the idea that the constructor sent us when they clue a certain answer in a puzzle. If we are going to change their clue, that's how it works on the editing side. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just whatever's coming to mind. This time we opted to ch clue chew whew, as sound from a toy train. Though we, as Deb points out, we have done Jimmy Chew before. We probably will yeah. again in another puzzle. It's just, we, ju we just try and keep it. We, we, we just want to keep things fresh. You know? Well, that's, I think that's the big point is yeah. that we have that you have seen Jimmy Choo in the puzzle as both an entry and a clue, I think. Yeah. And um, but, you know, there's this there's a struggle when you, you have to put out seven puzzles a week, 52 weeks a year plus packs to uh, come up with new and original and fresh uh, clues so that, you know, the editors don't start to cry because they've got <laughs> clue it as a train sound one more time. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, a lot of people are guessing gas pump uh, and this is, since a pump is a shoe, very good. Uh, David Flowers says, oh yeah, 10 down is Glenn's. There we go, perfect. Said, a lot of people are Glenn's. saying Leaf, as in, I guess, Leaf Erickson. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, yep, everybody's agreeing on Leaf. So we've got 10 squares there. left in this bottom what? middle part. Wow. All right. Well, let's hop down there and see what we got. Let's, how about 50 down? We have this A, hill worker. Ah, uh, see, that's got to be something that has to do with politicians, people who work on the hill in D.C., right? Yep. So that's going to be an aid. And it's it's funny because my first thought would have been ant. Ant, really, me like, too. <laughs> and actually, you know, what? I, I I think I ruined I think I ruined the joke. It fell flat because I honestly thought that I was I was feeding you the wrong answer. Oh, <laughs> that you could correct me and say it was it was actually ants. But uh, it's okay. It's only a matter of time before one of our jokes, you know, thirty nine downs. Exactly. So, exactly. It's happened quite a lot for me. Okay. So <laughs> Judy Patel says that fifty four down is mag. M A G. Oh, I like that. Time yeah. energy, like the magazine. Right. That's another, and, you know, veiled capital at the beginning yeah. of the clue. 
Exactly. Well, rolling that back a little bit, e.g. me in a clue means that you're you're being asked to think about something that that word time is a is it, what category is it in? Yeah. Now, it could time could be the time of day. Um, it, but in this case, it's Time Magazine because, as Sam said, the, the editors and the constructor have deliberately hidden the fact that it's a proper name by putting it at the beginning of the sentence where you would see a capital letter anyway. How evil is that? <laughs> we try. We try. Yeah. You, 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 That's you even love... more evil than the Rebus. Um, so Jeannie Patel, Bruce Giordano, Liz Plowman, uh, all say the 54 across is mini. Easy to park car is a Love mini. That one. Then we've got troubles. Are, it is a dues. Yeah. Well, I mean, woes was good. Ales was good. You know, irks. A dues right. just happens to be the one that fits in the puzzle. But you know what? Exactly. You can't gain real estate without guessing. It's right. You know, even if you get it wrong the first time, it's okay because as you fill in the puzzle, you're going to see that it, some things are a possibility and some things are not a possibility. That to me is what the eraser and the backspace key are for. Exactly. Um, or other you put in woes and you realize it can't be woes because it, mag is going downward and you've got the A there, take it out. It's it's no big day. It's a game. It's not okay. a competition. So uh, Artie Artie says, Mag stumped me. That's just another um, type of clue that people have to look out for. Liz says, Liz has already finished the puzzle and gone to lunch. Uh, she, <laughs> she's done the last answers. Uh, Bye-bye, Liz. Um, so uh, she says that 47 down is is not, as Judy Patel says, and Marilyn says 61 across is gets. So we're going to close the puzzle and reopen it. Hang out with us for a second. Yeah, don't go anywhere. I think my sound's going to go off. Come on now. Wonderful. Actually, I, I don't know if that audio comes through. On your I, I didn't just... hear it, but that's okay. We could, Let's sing it ourselves. da 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 there we go. So we tried. Here we go. Um, again, this puzzle is by Caitlin Reed, who took a soccer phrase, corner kicks, which is a way to score a goal, uh, and reimagined it in a puzzle as a, a grid that has kicks or shoes, because kicks is another word for shoes, in each of the four corners. We've got boots, we've got a pump, we've got wedges, we've got flats. And I think that is absolutely a delightful puzzle. What really put this over the edge on the editorial side. So yeah. we get, we actually get a lot of rebus submissions. It's kind of funny because, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun constructor trick to work on. Honestly, it's great to come up with things like bootlegs crossing boot camps. What right. really put this one over the edge was first of all, it was a really fresh reveal and a good way yeah. to imagine a theme like this, but all this bonus fill that could keep you solvers entertained while trying to figure out what this gimmick would be. I mean, hogwash, hangnail, activewear, sardine. Aerosols, there's so many good yeah, things in there. Some city, and even something like knock or thins, these can get good fun clues. Right. Animal and mineral right next to each other. It's, it's, stuff an that we love balance to have to, it's an interesting balance to have to strike, having really good stuff to write into the puzzle, uh, clues that are, may make you chuckle or smile a little bit. Yeah. And Caitlin's a great clue writer, too. I, I, I should I go ahead so. and mention that. I mean, her theme was as if featured have been chock full of good stuff, and this puzzle was no exception. So That's right. Well done, Bertie Caitlin. Lover, I'm sorry, Bertie Lover says that uh, she, he or she had great uh, fun. Thank you. I'm glad you did, Bertie. Good to hear. He says, I'm not confident yet to take on Thursdays, but I wish I had done this one. So fun. Billy, give it a try. I mean, the, the, the worst thing that will happen is you don't finish or it takes you more than a day to finish. And the, my answer to that is who cares? It's your puzzle. You do it the way you want. It's a game and games are meant to be fun. This is not a competition. Um, Art Artie, Artie Artie says, love soccer. So I love the theme. One of the few times I got the theme before I got all the clues. Perfect. That's awesome, Artie. I, Andrew Sprague, I was looking for vegetable to pop up. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that would have been great. That, but that would have been sort of almost a mini theme on its own. 
and uh, Birdie Lover says, Billy, uh, jump right in next time. And you yeah. know what? I think that's that's great advice. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's really it's just meant to be a, a fun word game. Uh, I'm glad you, Billy, Birdie Lover says I'm new to this and it's fun. I'm so glad, Birdie. Come join us on Wordplay. There's a huge community of people who think just like you, uh, who love to talk about the puzzle. Um, and, you know, the, the uh, column comes out at 10 o'clock uh, the night before. So this column came out at 10 p.m. Eastern Wednesday night. Uh, and it runs all the way till 10 p.m. tonight when the Friday puzzle comes out. Um, and uh, Billy says, true that. Who cares? I'll do it next week. You go, Ooh, Bill. That, there like you go. That, we got a man. And then come show up on Wordplay and tell us what you thought of the puzzle. Uh, David Flowers says, Thursdays are the best. Ugh. Yeah. I. You know what? I feel ugh. that. I feel that. It, but it's a good ugh, right? Yeah. It's a good ugh. And uh, Liz Plamis says, the best part of puzzles is learning all the three-letter words and other bits of cultural literacy. Agreed. Agreed 10, 10 million times. I love learning things from I haven't. I was going to say, I haven't said in a while, my favorite part of solving crossword puzzles is there's always one thing, at least one thing you can take away from the puzzle that you didn't know prior. And Absolutely. I think it's pretty fun. And, and you right, I learned what a corner kick was. Uh, Liz yep. Plowman says, which takes up all the space in my brain for what I really do need to know. You know what? <laughs> That's fine. I, rel I can relate. The nice thing about brains, Liz, um, is is that your brain sheds what's immaterial. And, you know, if you stuff your brain full of stuff that you learn from crossword puzzles, you do tend to forget things like, uh, you know, have, have you taking your kids to school today. Where are my car keys? Where, is my, where are my keys? Have I eaten lunch yet? But those things are low priority compared to the puzzle, right? So I, I suggest that you, you know, dive right in and learn as much as you can because, you know, keeping your mind sharp, especially at a time like this is a really good thing. Plus, we have a lot of fun with this. This is a place where you can come both on Crosswords Live and on Wordplay uh, to, you know, get away from the news. That's historically, that's why crosswords run in newspapers. Yep. It's meant to be a refuge. And uh, we welcome everybody. Uh, Wordplay is in front of the paywall, so you don't have to be afraid of showing up or wasting pages to read. Come Come once, come twice, you know, just be uh, be there and uh, share your love of the puzzle. Indeed. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun, everybody. I mean, we're here, as you yeah. say, we're here every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for one of these live solves. So whether it's yeah. your first time or 101st time being with us, we hope to see you next week. Absolutely. Listen, we want to thank all of you who did show up today. Tell your friends, bring them with you, drag them here. Uh, this is Deb Allen for the New York Times and Sam Azurski saying have a great Thursday.